What you are looking at is a fully electric air taxi prototype using cyclorotors as the main propulsion system, also known as cyclogyro or cyclocopter aircraft. This century-old technology used successfully in ships is gaining traction as an EV tall main propulsion system. It offers compactness, precise maneuverability, and a stable transition from hover to flight. In this video, I will explain the operating principle of the cyclorotor, and I will go over the pros and cons of the propulsion system that could be powering your future daily commute. In February 1923, Jonathan Edward Caldwell filed for a patent on a device he called the Cyclogyro. It consisted of an airplane fuselage with two paddle wheel-like attachments in place of the wings. This was only one of many attempts to create a vertical takeoff and landing cyclocopter aircraft. The historic failure of cyclocopter prototypes can be attributed to one or more of these three main weaknesses. Unsuitable materials, heavy engines and power sources, or insufficient knowledge of aerodynamic phenomena. In recent years, converging technologies and improvements in lightweight materials, electric propulsion systems, and batteries have reached a point where they have the potential to revolutionize air travel. The creation of new cyclorotor systems that benefit from these technology advancements is allowing the development of new cyclocopter aircraft around the world. This technology combines the main benefits of rotorcraft and fixed-wing concepts. A cyclorotor has several wings rotating around a central rotation axis at a constant speed. These wings are connected to a freely rotating hub with conrods. An eccentric position of the hub causes a periodic change of the pitch angle of attack of a wing during one revolution, thereby generating accelerated airflow and creating thrust. The distance between the rotation axis of the rotor and the rotation axis of the hub determines the thrust magnitude. and the position of the rotation axis of the hub in the peripheral direction determines the thrust direction 360 degrees around the rotation axis. In hover, the blades are actuated to a positive pitch on the upper half of their revolution and a negative pitch over the lower half, inducing a net upward aerodynamic force and opposite fluid downwash. The Austria-based company Cyclotech developed and tested many different rotor prototypes. The current prototype is a carbon cylinder 420 mm long and 350 mm in diameter, with five blades also made of carbon, which allows to develop a maximum thrust of 25 kg at 3,100 revolutions per minute. The company offers several uses for this technology including the concept of a four-seater air taxi with four propellers on a 1.2 by 1.2 meter unit. It will offer an estimate range of 85 kilometers, with a flight time of 40 minutes and a cruising speed of 150 kilometers per hour. The cyclocopter design has several advantages. Exceptional maneuverability, the ability to instantly change the magnitude and direction of traction on each rotor without having to change the engine speed. Compactness, by the reduction of aircraft footprint. Agility, they can react to crosswinds and gusts in a much faster and effective way. Especially during the critical takeoff and landing phase, cyclo-rotors can immediately counteract interfering forces. Forward flight efficiency, the efficiency of a cyclo-rotor is proven to improve during forward flight. One of the biggest disadvantages of a cyclocopter is that the rotor weight forms a significant fraction of the empty weight of the vehicle. The weight of the rotor is directly related to the blade weight because it governs the radial force, which is the predominant structural load on a cyclorotor. Designing lightweight blades for the cyclorotor is challenging because the outward force acts in the transverse direction, producing large blade deformations and even structural failure of the blades. 
Previous studies have shown that large bending and torsional deformations degrade the thrust-producing capability and efficiency of the cyclorotor. Russia's foundation for advanced research is developing the cyclocar, a hybrid VTOL that will carry six people or up to 600 kilograms of cargo. It can travel 500 kilometers with a top speed of 250 kilometers per hour. The Russians are planning to use it with a hybrid propulsion system with full electric drive and a range-extending combustion generator. A full-size, long-range, six-seat cyclocar is expected to fly in 2022.